Hi, I'm going to show you how to start a Digication ePortfolio. We're going to create a folio in the system, we're going to select a template, then we're going to change the permissions so certain people can see it. Finally, I'll show you a couple spots how to get help. All right? First thing you got to do, though, is log in. So I want you to go to mercy.digication.com. And I'm, I've done that here. And I'm going to go ahead. I put my username and my password in, and I hit log in. Now, when I get to the screen, it's loading right now. The first thing at the top here, it says My ePortfolios. And I don't have anything in here right now. But it says to create one, just click on this green Create button. I click on that. Now I'm going to give this portfolio a name. Um, I'm doing uh, the Life Achievement class. So I'm going to put my name, Matt, Matt's Life Achievement class. Now look, down here, it, it's giving me a URL, mercy.digication. And I, if I click Edit, I can go in here and alter this. And I'm just going to, you know, I can give it whatever name I want. And it says, look, the URL is available. So this is the one I'm going to keep. The next big thing, for this life achievement course, for example, my teacher has provided a, a template. If I choose this template here, it's going to give me all the headings I need, and I'll show you those in a second. If, you're not, if your teacher doesn't have a template, you can just click on Create from Scratch. But for now, I'm going to use this template, Life Achievement. I'm going to scroll down here to the next part, Permissions. This is a big, um, a big thing for when you're building it, when you very first start, you're going to keep it private to you, private to me. No one can see it. When you're ready to share this with your professor, if you click on the public, it's telling you, hey, this is going to be, everyone's going to be able to see this. It's going to be searched in different search engines. But I can change that. And I can uncheck this so it's not in the directory. So it's going to be public, but yet not searchable, not noticed on the web. Um, now, if we scroll down here at the bottom, we got to make sure to say whether you want tags or not. You can decide that on your own. And finally, the last button, create a new ePortfolio. So when I click this, it's going to bring me to where I'm going to work on this ePortfolio. Great. Uh, you can always get back to those settings up here on the top right under the Portfolio Tools, and it will take you back to where your making those changes on the URL, the theme, and the permissions. So, how do I get help? Check this out. There's two websites you can go to. The first one, support.digication.com, will have tutorials and uh, videos. And the second one, we found this, uh, it's made by DePaul University. And let me just show you real quick, depaul.digication.com slash get help. And it's a really nice website. And if you look under the heading How To Guides, down the left, they've broke out all the different things you can do to change your portfolio. You know, insert text, insert documents, uh, change the links, embed media. So if you look at these, and I'll just click on the Insert a Word document, because most people do this, is it'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. All right? Great. If you have any questions, remember, you can go to support.digication.com or this, to get help.